Welcome to the demonstration on configuring SSH on a Ruckus ICX switch. So for SSH to operate, you need a key pair between the client and the server. On the ICX, you can generate a key pair or you can import a key pair. Uh, in this demonstration, I'm going to generate a key locally and that is done with the crypto key command. So let's go ahead and configure that. So with the crypto key command, um, the, the two we're interested in is we can generate a key or we can zeroize a key. The zeroize option is great for uh, if there's an existing key on here and you want to regenerate a new key or something like that. Uh, but we're going to focus on the generate. So with generate, we have the option of a DSA or an RSA key pair, uh, or we can just hit return here and it will generate a DSA key pair because that's the default. So that's all we're going to do right now is we're just going to run the crypto, crypto key generate command. It'll take a few seconds to generate the, the key pair and it should be ready for us in just a minute and we'll get a message letting us know that, that it's successful. So there we go, we've created the key pair uh, successfully, so we're good to go there. Uh, so now when we do this, there are a couple of different ways of authenticating. We're just going to use a simple user and password authentication uh, for our SSH connection. So let's go ahead and create a user. And we'll just give it a simple password of password. Okay, so we've got a user named user with a password of password. And then we need to set up our AAA authentication uh, to use this username and password for logins. So that's so we're setting our authentication for logins as the default method and it's going to be local. So a local login and that's going to mean local username and password. So if we show our running configuration we can see in here we've got our AAA configuration right here and our user and username and password right here. So uh, we're ready to go. So what I'm going to do, uh, let's quit this. I'm going to move over to another switch that I have in the network with this. So this is a 7250 switch. Uh, from the switch, I'm going to uh, use it as an SSH client and I'm going to log into the router. So that's done with the SSH command. And that's the IP address. Our username is user. And the password is password. And we're connecting. And now we can see uh, that we're SSH'd in. So we get a prompt that says SSH connection uh, to the 7250 router. That's the prompt over here from this router. So there it is. Uh, 7250 router, that's the host name for it. So we are uh, connected to the host and we can get in here and perform any configuration we want to run. Uh, we can get into configuration mode and configure anything. Uh, it says one user's already in, that's from our other prompt over there. Uh, we can show our, our access to the switch with the show who command. And what we see here is that uh, SSH server is enabled. Uh, we have one session up. This is the IP address I'm connecting from. This is the IP address configured on the switch. Uh, it's a DSA key. The user is user and it's a super user uh, privilege mode. So um, we're, we're in, everything's working. Uh, we can SSH in, we have secure encrypted communications to the switch. So really that's, that's simply all you need to do to configure SSH. Now, there are a few other settings you can do for SSH. So let's take a look at those. And there, there are several things here. Um, you can configure the number of retries for authentication. Uh, you can set up clients, specific clients. You can change the encryption algorithms. You can set the idle time. Uh, you can do different forms of authentication, either interactive or key authentication. Uh, you can set up password authentication. Um, you can permit empty passwords. You could also change the port number from the default port of 22 uh, to anything within that range of 1 to 65,535. Um, you can set up public key files. You can uh, enable SCP so that you can use secure copies of information to and from the switch instead of TFTP. Uh, you can change the source interface and you can also uh, set up a timeout for SSH logins. So 
really those are the things you have available to you with SSH, but for the most simplistic purposes of just enabling secure connection, uh, all you really need to do is uh, generate a crypto key, set up a username and a password, and set up your authentication with AAA, and you're ready to go. Well, thank you for viewing this demonstration. Hope that you come back to view some more demonstrations in the future. Thank you.